Also, what is a, a non gender voice? Like that that's not that's they literally not a real the, thing. They probably use your voice. Wait, Someone that you can't tell. You're saying my my voice yeah. is, is it could go either way. It's fluid? just gonna be it's, yeah. it's a oh, woman nice. that smokes <laughs> cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the wo- it's the women they use to voice like a uh, rowdy little boys mm. on, on like or is that the girl who when the I'm woman who did ba- Bobby Hill or is Elizabeth Holmes the that lady with the, 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 like the line that spoke no, to me stated simply like yeah. I am not tragically yeah. colored. There is no uh, sorrow yeah. dammed up in my soul nor lurking behind my eyes. I do not mind at all. Mm-hmm. At 17, I had no idea what life would bring, but Sora's sentiment articulated so beautifully how I felt as a daughter of immigrants then and now. Nothing about me was or is tragic. Mm-hmm. I am perfectly made. Mm-hmm. I can wax eloquent on complex legal issues in English while also belting Guayaquil de mis amores in Spanish. I can change a diaper with one hand and console a crying toddler with the other. <laughs> I'm a woman of color. I'm right, a mom. That's, that's the weirdest line mm-hmm. in the whole thing to me because it's like she can change a diaper. Uh, what, uh, what are you doing with your hand to console the toddler? <laughs> yeah, she's rubbing jacking it. Off. I don't. I've seen people change. <laughs> oh, you diapers. think she's jacking it off? She's, she can molest it. And she yeah. Uh, yeah, I've <laughs> seen people change diapers, and it's uh-huh. of all this shit. It's like the, mm-hmm. the like you know because there's a lot of people going off on this video or whatever, right? Yeah. Making the mistake of thinking that whoever made this, you know, doesn't it, like that they just found out about all this stuff this week, right? Uh-huh. Not and that they haven't been planting it for the last 10 years either way <laughs> yeah. but there is one thing that the CIA is it is actually not good at mm-hmm. and it's not having sex with children yeah right that's true <laughs> They That's can't. something that they, they it's hard. That is the only thing mm-hmm. they they can do a lot of weird, the crazy yeah. stuff. They all get the away with agents, a lot of yeah. stuff, but all of them fall prey to these internal like, well, let's have sex with children as part of a honeypot plan, right. mm-hmm. and then before you know it, the president's <laughs> fucking children. Of course, and now then, we gotta kill Jeff. Uh, yeah, you know exactly. Now mm-hmm. someone's gotta take the fall. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, even, you know, I mean, that's all Afga- That's how Afghanistan ended. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were somehow able to manipulate public opinion forever on Afghanistan, which was basically a drug smuggling operation for 14 years. Yeah. Until, <laughs> until like, people found out the army had to turn a blind eye to tribal leaders raping boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's their culture. And then Joe was like, ah, that, that, you got, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 go ahead and blah, shut, shut the whole thing, bring it down. <laughs> shout out to Joe, man. We're gonna, we're gonna shout when you, out to fucking Joe. Yeah. How about a CIA that reflects the the spicy Latino culture that I've grown to love every about, time I I go out to lunch. Every time I get I I go to I, I log on to Eighth Street Latinas. I went to Chipotle and I got into a knife fight with the guy behind the counter. <laughs> that was the first Chipotle I ever was. My way saying hello. I, we cut off the tips of each other's dicks. <laughs> and that's my understanding of the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah, dude. Joe, Joe got in a knife fight to, to say hello. Um, yeah, they call Mexican. it a Puerto, Reza, Puerto, Puerto Rican circumcision. <laughs> Puerto but I don't, circumcision. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, okay, so there's, there's one of two possibilities. Either the CIA is like a giant bureaucratic machine filled with like people of Maybe slightly above average intelligence that mm-hmm. you know they, I mean you know they, they they pump this bullshit out and there's as much like intellectual depth to it or agenda behind it as like when HSBC does the same thing right right, right. Which means the, the, the Kylie Jenner uh, Pepsi police commercial yeah mm-hmm. or <laughs> or the world is actually you know this is like in in which case it's not a recruitment video they're doing this to like either elicit or collect data on some kind of response mm-hmm. to this kind of thing which means that there's like everything every part of this has to be meticulously crafted right which mm-hmm. is like what so you, where it, does that line come from who sat down and wrote down the line in this before shooting it i can change a diaper with one hand and console a toddler well, listen, well here's my you're when, right when langley could see, saw that lady doing that mm-hmm. that's i mean that's elite skills with two different <laughs> hands i am a cisgender millennial who's been diagnosed <laughs> with generalized anxiety <laughs> 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 yeah. 
But but you, I mean, and this, is, this is this this plays into theory B because the absurdity of that statement. The fucking CIA. Oh I'm, a, I'm a cisgendered millennial that's been diagnosed with generalized generalized anxiety, anxiety disorder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which probably it's like if you go to the CIA and you're like, I'm mentally ill. They're like. See ya. <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't. I don't think the way that works is like. Not only do you have the job, we're putting you in the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> um. They probably. So it's again. It's like why? No, you got to be do more that, insane than that. Would they do that to make all of this seem absurd? Because I, I mean, mm-hmm. I guess it's like, what would be the domestic goal of the CIA? And that's probably to be like some kind of like. I guess like like bandwidth limiter, like cultural bandwidth limiter to yeah. to cut off the low end and the high end of any, any kind of like cultural extreme. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that like woke shit is culturally extreme by any no, means. I no. think it's very much mainstream. Hundred percent. So At this point, yes. it wouldn't be a like disruptive thing to make pe- like to you know functionally satire. I guess it's like what it is. That is mm-hmm. so funny. Yeah. That. That sentence is funnier than anything I've ever fucking ever yeah. heard. In my I life. think maybe they got Tim Dillon to do this. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I think that that yeah, I, it can't clear. It clearly can't be that they think anyone thinks this is cool. Mm-hmm. But I don't think a single person. thinks But maybe that's it is cool. a recruitment video. But look at all the other dumb <laughs> shit that the CIA like. The CIA like got a lot of people on its side post nine eleven. Not not by like stoking fears about international terrorism, but by just making movies where the CIA guys get to wear khakis and Oakleys. Yeah, right. that's it. That's yeah. what sold all of like the fucking the people that are now like QAnon people. They're like, wow, that guy looks like he's fucking. He just he's like he goes to REI, but he's not a fag. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, I mean, it's like, <laughs> like that. Yeah. That's all it took. Oh, like the guy from Sicario, James Brolin from Sicario. That kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I right. sent it to Felix. Or the zero other day. Dark Thirty shit. And if you don't think that that's like like explicit, like I sent it to Felix the other day. I saw this ad. This is very funny. I mean, um, it's an ad for khakis. <laughs> for those kind of, it's like an ad for being one of those guys. <laughs> Yeah, see, but James Brolin in that movie wore flip yeah. flops. Here we go. That's cool. Travel where you want, but they also wore flip flops in Zero Dark Thirty. Yep. They're playing Do horseshoes and flip flops. Oh yeah. And it's Oakley's the backwards hat, and it works. It's that simple. It's, it's literally like letting you know that the global, you know, like uh, intelligence monster has Casual Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this from Forbes. Let me see. From Clothing Arts, travel where you want. The CIA version of khakis. Incredible, <laughs> dude. Well, that's true. Okay, yeah. so no, no. But, but I, I, you don't need you don't need like any kind of jingoistic <laughs> bullshit. You just need you need guy like the fucking yeah, like the, the Punisher CIA logo. Cool. I mean, that's it. Yo, Jim, Jim The Office uh-huh. was created solely. To get a bunch of guys in their twenties, a bunch of bland motherfuckers in their twenties, and then Jim just became that guy, his CIA guy. Yeah, and so he became an operator. So yeah. now they're like, "That's me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can be Jim. I can. You be know Jim. what I mean? I can make fun of the retard at work, and, and then, then I get then the I fucking could go to Benghazi I, and uh, kill. go crazy on some Muslims. I can yeah. just go well, off in Benghazi. That's what I'm, that Jack Ryan show is. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, they went from the office of Jack Ryan for that reason. Mm-hmm. I remember. I think I went to. He's like, a plant. Oh, he's he's, he's a definitely plant, 100%. working for one of those like uh, d- like a regal where they do like the first look thing, was uh-huh. like some movie theater. Or maybe it wasn't even in a movie yeah. theater, but I saw some like one of those like twenty minute promotional things for that Jack Ryan show. Yeah, and it was uh, John Krasinski talking about how he got to visit Langley and actually drink the cum of the men that <laughs> work there. Wow! In fact, he actually like the sacrifices these guys make just to fuck him and his ass, yep. yeah, and receive pleasure from his anus God. while he's making you know. That's uh, crazy. Uh, TV shows calling them heroes. <laughs> yeah. It's really, it's amazing the amount of work well, that okay. goes into so, acting. So here's how it is. I think we're onto something here because they have, it's a two pronged, it's a two pronged recruitment approach. Right. Because we have those guys, we have the guys that are like, I could be CIA. But the CIA I doesn't need, they don't do, like, there's no reason for them to do recruitment. But all those guys hate the CIA make any now sense. because of, cause they thought that they were trying to kill Trump. They thought the deep state was against. No, it's not those guys. It's it's like fucking Democrats is what I'm saying. Yeah, Democrats. And that's the, that's the reason it's this, too, because mm-hmm. it's like 
now it's women online who are tattletales see this video mm-hmm. and they're like awesome. The so hit. now they're like the fucking so now you got your operators, the right. guys that you got the khakis to, and then you got the fucking then you got a bunch of bitches online mm-hmm. spying mm-hmm. that would literally tip off the CIA if ever it was a necessity. We've trained a generation. I am intersectional, but my existence right. is not a box checking exercise. Yeah. I am a walking declaration. Me? A woman whose inflection does not rise at the end of her sentences. The Kamala Hive is loving that. That's anti I did not sneak into CIA. My employment was not and is not the result of a fluke or slip through the cracks. I earned my way in and I earned my way up the ranks of this organization. Mm-hmm. I am educated, qualified, and competent. And sometimes I struggle. I struggle feeling like I could do more, be more to my two sons. And I struggle leaving the office when I feel there's so much more to do. Mm -hmm. I used to struggle with imposter syndrome. (laughs) At 36, I refuse to internalize (laughs) misguided patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be. I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize. But again, like they have to internalize misguided. It's a a spy agent. So it's like they, they, like to what extent that like these statements are like deliberately satirical has to make me think that this is done it's like it's it's not it can't it can't <laughs> it, it can't, can't be serious it can't be can't be serious yeah. i mean well it's serious but it's not like right you know i'm saying they're trying to t- the, like, the k hive <laughs> the kamala hive yeah here's this and they're mm-hmm. like that's me yeah they're gonna that's yeah. what i'm saying dude mm-hmm. they're gonna make a lot more cops that started as fucking mm-hmm. snitches on fucking Every, twitter everyone hates me and that makes me good at being in the cia yep. yeah yeah the patriarch <laughs> i i in turn <laughs> struggle <laughs> with imposter syndrome yeah, but they were already doing that i mean that's what zero dark 30 the movie was yeah yeah it's like well, this is a like a i guess i never saw sort of satirical that. version mm-hmm. of that but no that i mean zero dark 30 is just a girl boss pro cia pro yeah. torture movie mm. I, w- I would i never realized it's actually kind of sick and jessica chastain is hot so hot. i mean it works on me too yeah right? i'm yeah. like yeah i don't you know if, if i could maybe get, get a little piece yeah you know i'll put on the khakis the, yeah <laughs> yeah i'll throw the khakis on you black bag out. as many arabs you put, as you want you put as <laughs> many pockets on my pants <laughs> some some ageless redhead alien oh uh-huh. yeah it comes from the planet dick succrion <laughs> <laughs> she definitely has that quality oh yeah dude yeah she's like a vulcan she's got some like yeah because the her cheekbones yeah my yeah. my race has no feelings. We our pussies just get, become tighter with age. <laughs> our pussies get wetter and tighter. And they become and yeah, our throats <laughs> even suck dick our body at counts the back. G- g- reverses. <laughs> we start having we started a million uh, guys. Five hundred and work <laughs> our way down. Also, you know, <laughs> beam me up, Scotty. That's the way to do you it. You know mm. this like spicy Latina bitch like. Her parents got her their slaves taken away at their coffee plantation <laughs> by Castro. Yeah, and then she came here and was like, "We were poor, we had nothing." Well, half the CIA guys back in the sixties were all just, uh, you know, I mean, I don't, I, for lack of a better word, <laughs> but that would be a funny way to phrase it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, for lack of a better word, <laughs> like, that's yeah, like, it's the only it's the only word I can words. come up with. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not a thousand. <laughs> Probably a mm-hmm. <laughs> hundred. It was a, it was a joke I used to do when I was when I was like twenty about how like fucking <laughs> Eskimos. They, people are like, you know, Eskimos. They got like fifty words for snow. It's like, yeah, but we got at least that many words for black people. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, yeah. I think the same thing. Mm-hmm. We got too much, too many black. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good CIA video. Yeah, yeah I'm ready what, to sign up. I hope the CIA g- bounces back. Mm-hmm. Would you stop? Would you be in a movie called Snickario? Snickario, and it's about a guy that's eat, eating eating too Snickers. many Snickers. Wow. Is there more to it? No. He goes to Mexico <laughs> because he's been kicked out of America for for what? Being too fat for <laughs> making America sink into closer to China. <laughs> <laughs> You're outed as a spy for yeah. China. No, I the wouldn't. Try to a man I wouldn't yeah. be in that movie. It doesn't sound like they were trying to suck America. It doesn't so far sound like it would give me enough to do. Uh-huh. It sounds like I would be kind of a caricature of a fat man. I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize for the space I occupy, rather than intoxicate people with my effort, my brilliance. I am proud of me. Full stop. My parents left everything they knew and loved. 
to expose me to opportunities they never had. Because of them, I stand here today a proud first-generation Latina and officer at CIA. I am unapologetically me. I want you to be unapologetically you, whoever you are. Know your worth, command your space. Mija, you're worth it.